and I study Christian worship. Perhaps you've been asked to help plan a baptism, maybe for a family member or a friend. Here are six components you'll want to consider when you plan to baptize a believer in your congregation. One, include scripture. Matthew 28, 19 through 20, the Great Commission, is a common reading. There's also some great readings found for baptism in the books of Romans and Colossians as well. Two, have your pastor give a little explanation about what baptism means. There are several themes from the Bible that the pastor could emphasize, like baptism as our union with Christ, as our initiation into Christ's church, and as our reception of the Holy Spirit. Three, present the candidate who is to be baptized. The candidate might offer a testimony to affirm their faith and intention to follow Christ. In some cases, the candidate is asked to make a pledge of faith. And so the pastor asks questions like, do you confess that Jesus is Lord? Do you believe in the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the Holy Scriptures? The candidate responds, I do, to affirm their faith publicly. Four, get the entire congregation involved. Anytime baptism is celebrated, the congregation is reminded of their own baptismal vows. So the congregation might affirm their faith together, or recite some scripture or creed. Five, of course, baptize the believer. Sometimes a prayer giving God thanks for the water and setting it apart for this important task is said before the pastor says these words to the candidate. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Finally, welcome the newly baptized into the community of faith. Applause is appropriate here as are shouts of amen and lots of cheering. Graciously welcome these new disciples into the body of Christ. Baptism is a special event in the life of every Christ follower. Wise is the worship leader who thoughtfully plans this important service.